Computer-generated images have no physical limitations. The objects can do anything. One advantage over miniatures. Another is how quickly a shot can be changed. Sometimes all it takes is a phone call from California to New York, if the phones are linked to the right computers. After the explosion, the debris that flies out doesn't really fall as if it's obeying the laws of gravity. It tends to just go straight out. Put a gravitational program onto that so that the debris will kind of fall as if it has weight. Um, well, probably take about 15 minutes to make the correction. This not only saves time, but money. Of Tron's $20 million plus budget, 20% was spent on computer-generated imagery, an amount that would have at least doubled if conventional sets of models had been used, and if the movie could have been made in this way at all. Another $6 million was spent on other special effects, including the integration of actors into computer-generated scenes. Associate producer Harrison Ellenshaw offered to put me into a computer-generated world in order to show you how it's done. This is a movie, sir. Hey, who's that guy? Look like Mr. Peanut. We need the black velvet because we don't want to photograph that part. And the rest of you, as you can tell, is in, in stark white and with black lines on it. I can tell that. I was hoping you'd explain why I'm in this ridiculous costume. Well, it won't look so ridiculous when we're finished with it. The contrast is needed for backlighting. Each frame of film is enlarged onto 12 and a half by 20 inch animation cells. These serve as stencils which isolate each element that requires a separate color or intensity. Once I'm out there uh, on this set, what can I do with it? You can do whatever you like, and, and the more you point to things uh, and indicate things, the more things we can put in. You'll regret this. They tell me this world I'm living in is limited only by my imagination. First of all, let me get rid of this ridiculous hat. Now then, I could, uh, for instance, uh, decide I didn't like this costume, and let's say, change it all. Or... Uh, change the color of the boutonniere. If I want to oh, live in a more mundane world, I could give you a tap dance. And if all else fails, I can simply disappear. Well, if that's any indication, it looks like the future will be made of equal parts computer technology and old-fashioned ham.